Hi friends, welcome to How and Where. Today we will see basic error in Spring Boot application. We will get 404 error sometimes, even we define controller in application. Let's see how we can solve this. I have created one sample Spring Boot application. This is my sample Spring Boot application and I have given sysout of started to check whether application is properly running or not. Yes, you can see the log is printed here, started, so application is started perfectly and it is in running mode. Next, let's try to create a one package for the controller. The package name is com.example.controller. Yes, I have created. Let's create a class controller class demo controller the name of the class is demo controller okay i have created the class here i am copying the code for the controller which i have already written so yes i have a list array list here i am returning list a b c as a json bag this is a rest controller get mapping is data now i am starting the application it is starting it is running yes now i can see application is started perfectly now we we'll go and check localhost 8080 from the browser so it will redirect to the login page so how come it is redirect to the login page? i have not given anywhere about the credentials in our application i just started a normal application then how come it is going to the login page let's see now i will show you Go to the pom.xml and we'll see here we have a Spring Boot Starter Security. This is the one which we, which is created login page. This is a default login page when you import the security plugin to the Maven by default it will come with the username and credentials. So here username is always user. So but default the username is user created by the Spring Boot application. Then what is the password? How we can check the password? The password we can always check in the command prompt. It will always print in the command prompt. We can check in the console now. So go to the console, search with the password keyword. Now we can find the password here. The password is generated by the Spring Boot application. Let's copy that. Yes, I have copied. And I am pasting in password. I am signing in. Yes, but it is showing for not for not for why because. We have not even given the error page. There is no error page, no explicit mapping to the error page, no explicit mapping we have given for the login. So that's why. Let's go to the demo which we have created for the controller. So still it is given 404 error. So why it is given 404 error? We have already added the controller but still it is giving 404 error. The demo controller. Yes. So how we can solve this problem? We can solve this problem in two ways. The, the issue is because of we have added controller in another package that is not identified and recognized by the Spring Boot application. So how we can solve this problem in two ways? First one is the copy the demo controller. I am copying it and paste it in Spring Boot application in the same package. Yes, I have added in Spring Boot application in the same package. I have added the controller as well. Now let's run the application. Yes, it is started. Now let's go and check. Now it is redirected to the login page. It is a default login. Username is user and password. It is not the same password but we have given in the last time. Spring Boot application will generate the new password for every time. If you wanna check, you can check by copying this one into the edit plus or somewhere notepad. So I have copied this one into the notepad. next time we will run the application we will see what is the new password yes now we can see the output for the controller now the endpoint is working perfectly why because the the two classes added in the same package so this is not the right way to implement the application this is not right structure for the spring boot application so we are deleting this one we have to give this controller in controller package only this is the right structure of the spring boot application so how we can run this application 
the another way is by adding the component scan in the spring boot main application so that it will scan all packages so i am going to the spring boot application i copied the component scan i am giving the base package here that is com.example is our base package you can check the package it is in com.example.spring boot i am giving base package as com.example what are the classes will be available in the com.example it will scan all the classes now we can go to the browser and hit the endpoint so it will ask default username password user is user so password we will check this time it is a new password or it is same password is generated let's go and copy the password and paste it in the notepad now we can see the new password is different password is generated the same password i'm giving in password text box now i'm clicking on login button now we can see the output for the controller a b c as returned as a json so this is how we can solve this issue next video i will come up with the another solution if you like the video please do subscribe like and comment thank you